So in front of me is my EDC. Why does it look so disheveled? I did this on purpose, okay? So we have our Milwaukee Fuel oscillating tool. This is the newer one. It may look dirty because I use the heck out of it. Yes, this one has the auto feature. It is amazing. And no, I don't hate it. I don't care that it don't it won't stand up on its own. I really don't want tools standing up in my client houses because a lot of houses I work in and commercial spaces are very expensive with experienced people who will see the slightest little scratch or chip. You don't want to do that. And I have my impact right here. Uh, this little impact drill or impact driver. Let me correct myself here. Uh, is an oldie but goodie, a six year old fuel brushless. This thing is amazing. Uh, this may actually have been a surge, I'm not sure. You guys can probably correct me. I can look at the part number. Yep, yeah, it is a surge. I bought this way back in the day and it's lasted me so long. And this is the old battery that I have with it that has just kept going. Then we have our impact drill right here with a uh, red lithium HD 12.0, the big fatty. These guys are amazing. I don't like using them all the time, but I need the 5.0 and up for the vacuum, which is amazing. Uh, if you don't know this and you're on the old school vacuum, low speed, high speed, as far as your suction or blowing, and then it has a carousel for your attachments that come with it. it has a sweeper attachment and a crescent attachment and a nozzle. This is a 5.0 that I carry in there. And I, I just, I love this vacuum better. I actually took the original one back not too long after I got it because the hose separated so quickly. I think I may have used it on one job for like one part of a project and it broke. Major, 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 major improvement. Vito Pro Pack TP XXL bag right here. You guys, I have loadout videos on that galore. And I will tell you, uh, you should go back and see the last one I did. Every one I do is gonna get better. Um, you'll get to see more and more stuff as I take things out and I put things in there. Uh, it, it's just the changes with the job. So. This is my plumbing stuff, some of it, just a tiny bit of it actually. Um, this thing is just completely loaded to the gills. I have a loadout I just did recently. Go back to my channel and find that. Take a look. Um, I carry pencils, magnets, chisels, bit drivers. This is a Ryobi drip, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Drill bit driver, uh, the attachment. Sorry guys, man, my mind just got all jacked up that I got for free. I found this actually at a project I was cleaning out. Um, I was paid to clean it out. I wasn't stealing anything, guys. So just so you know, as I'm up and up, uh, small magnet telescoping that I carry. I do carry a lot of two point, or uh, these are not the Ticonderoga, but number two pencils. I carry those. I love to carry ink saws. A lot of Knipex in here, some of which I bought, some of which I won from a giveaway. This bag, I'll be transparent, I won. Uh, this is what, a $200 bag or something like that. Uh, I love their products, it's great. So check that one out, backup tape over here. But one of the things I did want to check out with you guys is my favorite tape. Uh, this is the, I'm gonna put it upside down of course. Here, the Crescent Lufkin Shock Force G2 25 footer. And this is the Night Eye. So it does have your solids, it has your diamonds on there. And it's just overall an easy to read tape. It's so much easier on the eyes, especially in the sun. Um, but it's actually designed for dark spaces. The inverted colors allows you to see better in a dark spot. It really does work and it is double-sided. I forgot to show you that. And every inch on here will have a number marking. Um, let me stretch this out from a certain point on. You'll start seeing after that, that one, two, three, four. So you get your inches past that. A little cheat uh, that is on some tapes, maybe not on others. Load out, oh, I've already told you guys about. So I'm not even gonna go into that. I have a video on this bag. This is kind of my backup everyday carry that will go with me everywhere now since I loaded it out. I was actually gonna get rid of this bag because I hated it at first, but then I said, you know what? As I grew in my jobs, all this stuff in here, I actually use. So why am I telling you guys this? The number one thing that I see is people trying to jump into a trade, um, particularly to be a handyman. And stay with me, guys. Please don't leave. I, this is something that you guys will all appreciate. I'm going to tell the whole world this. You need to know what you're doing to a degree that you can pick up a new task and do it well. If you can't do that, stay out of it. But I want to show you that these are investments. And this is not a brag, you guys. God has blessed me greatly. This was through a lot of prayer, sacrifice, and 
um, hard times, lessons, uh, losses, and wins. This right here is thousands of dollars worth of tools. And you tool guys out there who know the value of tools could probably take a look at every tool, spec it out, and know what all this costs. This is a fraction of what I have. I could probably literally stand here all day pulling out tools and showing you guys all kinds of tools that I have and why I have them. It serves no purpose. See, I'm telling you, I'm not lying. This is real life, guys. I'm, I'm not one of those Instagram guys. It's like, oh, everything's perfect and polished. My bag will have to get reorganized several times a week. And that's most of you. I want to bring the truth to you guys that it doesn't matter what you have here. I'm shooting on top of my chest freezer, you guys. I have a whole space that I'm prepping as a, a video space. This is the truth. This may not look pretty to some people. This is used. You can tell my tools get used. This is not polished and prep. It is actual real life. Like you have an old beater chisel right here that I'm not giving up because it's a beater chisel. Eventually I'll replace it. But guys, the point of the matter is run what you brung for now, get better, and you will get these things in time. It took me a while to get a lot of this. And like I said, some of this I won. That was God's grace. I prayed about it went on to there i don't know if you believe or not if you don't believe cool but this is my story and what happened i prayed i went on um to the to rich's channel i'll have to get to the channel name i'm really sorry i don't have that right now at the top of my head and i picked a number and i was literally one number off and i was that close i was the closest number you could ever be to the number dead on that it was and i won this bag with a few of the knipex tools the rest i bought um, but I would say the few were about, what do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven Knipex tools and then this bag. If you only knew the price of some of these tools that were given to me, I consider that a God sent blessing, um, undeserved by total grace. And I really am appreciative to the other guys in the space. These tools, some people may see red and say, oh my God, they're so expensive, but why? Why do we do this? Because I have functions like this. When I walk into a customer's house and this is clicked into a system, they see things that don't even, this doesn't look like a vacuum to a customer. And they love that. They're like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Non-tool people. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, I didn't even know you had a vacuum with you. Awesome. Oh, no, no, I'll clean that up. No, I got it. It's my mess, my job. Let me clean this up and leave it better than I found it. So with that, I am going to give you some parting words. You guys... Say a prayer up. If you don't believe in Jesus Christ, you don't believe that God's real, we're in some really turbulent times. So I know to some of you, this doesn't seem real. You're like, dude, you must be super spoiled. No, honestly, God has blessed me. It's taken years to get where I'm at. This is part of it. It's, it's an amazing journey, but everything in time, right? This right here was one of those, I hope I don't have to return it. You know, because I've been through that road. So if that's you right now watching this and saying that someday I only wish you will get there. But you need to set your eyes on the proper things. Now, for me, that was my hope in God. If you don't believe, that's on you. Uh, if you're angry at God, because I know some of you are. I've gotten some comments on other platforms when I'm involved in groups. And <coughs> part of me, the, where guys are just totally disgusted with God and say he's not real. He's sky daddy, blah, blah, blah. Don't be mad at him. Tell them, hey, this is why I'm mad at you. Show me that you're real. If, if you're really out there and you're looking out for my best interest, show me that you're real. I guarantee you he'll pull through. For the rest of you guys, we're on this turbulent road. And maybe some of these things to you are so far-fetched, but you're like, God, if I can only. You guys, I'm going to give you advice. This was a sacrifice. This was a sacrifice. This was a sacrifice. This was a sacrifice. Some of these tools in here were a sacrifice. This was a sacrifice. I don't own a thing that was just totally given to me without sacrifice to get there. If I had never gone down the road of all the sacrifices that I had made, I would never be led to the point where I was on the channel where I won this bag and some of these Knipex tools in here. It took sacrifice and a road to get there. So I know I'm sounding preachy to you guys, but these are some seriously weird times that we're in with some seriously weird going on. I'm not getting into the theories of it because that's not what this channel was about. Um, I could go into it. If you guys ask me, I can go into some things that I perhaps know or have been able to secure information on, but I just want to get that out there. Tools are not your God. They should never be your God. 
You need to put God first, your family next, and then the rest. Don't be distracted by everything that's going on and enjoy these things. Build some projects that make you happy. Enjoy moments with your family. Raise your kids on this if you can. Teach them how to use these things and really relish, not embellish, relish in the moments. Don't be that fake person that's doing everything for, for the views on online. Guys, I have a crowded garage too. I'm not that person that has a $200,000 shop. This is my EDC. This is not the highest end stuff in the world. Yeah, I would say it's a middle grade, but I don't own a tool trailer or a fancy van. That's not me. I would love to get to a point where I have the van, but I don't have it yet. So put your perspective in the fact that you should be grateful where you are and start where you're at. Don't get everything twisted, all right? The world is easy at getting us in that, and especially the world of tools and trades. There are guys out there that will get you so worked up over the littlest thing that you don't need to be. We need to make sure that we're utilizing these tools for what they're made for, and that's to put food on the table and smile on faces. Let's get people calmed down, collected, and let's work as a team. God bless y'all.